Right. The iced coffee has been made. Oh, the cat's been located. You're meant to be curing me. <sighs> Mummy's not well. Feeling a little bit, uh, whoa, it's like really bright in the background. Feeling a little bit fragile this morning. I'm not gonna lie. We went out for Hannah's birthday last night. Is it better with my glasses off? Can you see me better? I always wear glasses like this to like hide the fact that I low key look like a toe. And uh, are really tired. You know, we went out for Hannah's birthday last night. If you are wanting like places to go in Manchester, Peter Street Kitchen, so good. They had a they had a new menu. Like it was Asian food, Mexican food, so good. They've partnered with like Whispering Angel. Yeah, I know. They've partnered with Whis they partnered with Whispering Angel. So a lot of that was consumed. Plus margaritas, because if we don't go out and drink tequila, like, did we even go out? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Feeling great this morning. To be fair, I don't get massive, like, like, chronic hangovers, but I do get the, like, tired over... No, I do get hangovers. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Anyway, I did want to film something today. I didn't plan that very well in the sense of going out the night before I wanted to film something. But it's a very chill video. I wanted to film a catch-up q and I feel like so much is like going on, happening. And the last kind of q and I did was with Lara and that was just more of like a girl talk focus one where it was just like generic questions. But I feel like I said this was gonna be a catch-up Q&A. Um, so these might be more directed about like what I'm doing and what I'm getting up to and that kind of stuff, which is what I feel like has been long overdue. You guys know when I do these Q&As as well, I absolutely love to partner up with Case Defy. I got a new case on right now. I'm really, really into their Y2K font that they've got going on. And I'm really into green at the moment. So that's exactly what I got. I got green, Rachel, two hearts and a butterfly on my case. But I got a new phone case. I got a new phone recently. I'm now on the iPhone 13. So it was in fact time to get a new phone case. And this is the time if you guys wanna get a new phone case too, the link in my description links all of my favorite cases. Plus obviously you can browse the website, but there will be a, I think it's like 15% discount automatically applied if you shop the link below. Uh, but I literally only, I only have case to cases on my phone. Number one, you can personalize and customize them. Pretty much all of the cases they've got, you can personalize them if you wish. So they also make a really great gift. They have so many fun prints and designs so you can fully like express yourself like he is over there. A lot of their phones are either impact or ultra impact, which means they have drop protection, which came in absolute handy last night. We were out on the street taking pickies, like, you know, when you're a bit drunk, like trying to take pickies, like the, basically the phone was dropped, all right, a few times. And ever since having a case to five phone case, my phone's always been absolutely fine. But yeah, love the drop protection. It's from like, like 9.8 feet something like that some some ridiculous height that you'll probably never reach anyway so you just know it's always going to be protected if you drop it also a lot of the cases are made from eco-friendly materials some even made from recycled phone cases that just that haven't been used so we stand a brand that is becoming more and more sustainable with their products but yeah if you're in the market for a new phone case or like me you've literally just upgraded so therefore you need a new phone case case defy is the place to go and if you shop the link in the description below you will automatically receive a discount so yeah before i get any questions while i'm reading out these questions where the case is from you already know it's case defy big slurp on this coffee i'll tell you that and let's uh let's go through these questions shall we let's catch the fuck up Normally he's literally like at my feet, so the fact that he's over there, maybe he can just sense like, not it's not the energy. Right, let's start, shall we? Someone said, how's life recently? You look like you're thriving. I've actually had a lot of these, so that makes me very happy. For one, that I'm obviously exerting this like new, well, I don't really think it's new energy as such, because I feel like I've always been sort of, well, I don't know, actually. Maybe you guys from an outsider's perspective, like, are just noticing something different. I, I'm, not, I'm not really sure, like, why that is. I feel like it might be because I'm, like, balancing my time in terms of, like, who I'm hanging out with. And I now sort of have, like, a group. It's not, like, a new group because we sort of are all mingling together. But it actually does make a huge difference when you hang out with 
people that are also single. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's, like, I love hanging out with, like, Hannah and Mads, like, obviously. Um, but we just do different things. Whereas when I, like, hang out with, like, Laura and stuff like that and, like, Poppy and stuff, like, these are just names that I'm throwing out that you guys might be like, who? But, like, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen. Um, yeah, it's just because they're, like, like, we just do different things, you know? And I feel like this balance that I've got going on is really, like, good for me. So maybe that's why. And I also just feel like... I don't know i feel like i'm really like learning actually like how to like be single i know i've always sort of been single but i've never really enjoyed it and like thrived in it you know so i feel like i've just sort of got into that like era with the help of like other people that are also doing that if that makes sense maybe that's it and then i think just like working on myself as well has really just like released a lot of endorphins like all of the time um yeah, I think I guess that's, I guess that's it. So thank you. That's the only thing I can really think of as to why. Someone said, please tell us what happened to your nails while you were on holiday. Oh my gosh. What, my neon yellow ones, when they like literally like <laughs> fell off. I think it was just the chlorine from the pool and just like fucking rattling, flying around, like scraping my hand on things. Nothing drastic, but I think, yeah, I think the chlorine just, just got to them. Although it didn't happen to anyone else. It literally just happened to me. So I must have been doing some like wild stuff. Again, I got a, another one sort of saying like, how to live the best single friend life. All of my friends are wiped off and feeling lonely. Oh, <laughs> Steve, that must have hurt. Oh dear. He just sort of like fell and like his leg got caught between. So I don't know if that hit his little little balls, but he seems all right. He didn't meow, so it can't have been too bad. Anyway, um, honestly, you will never live your best single life if you like, if, if you remain sort of like just within that friendship group. Like obviously you don't want to lose them as friends and it's not even about wanting to lose them as friends, but I think you need to find another group that are also single i know that's probably a lot easier said than done but honestly it, it's made like such a difference for me and i'm so lucky to have like both sides of it because i love hearing about my friends relationships and like how happy they are and stuff like don't get me wrong but then it's like when i want to go out and like find the boys they obviously that's not really a priority for them so it's good to have people that want to do that as well do you know what i mean so yeah i definitely think you need the balance of both if you do have like people in your life that you can reach out to and just say like hey like do you want to hang out like single girls let's go out for drinks or something like do you know what I mean like I think as we get like a bit older as well like things like that just I don't know they're just way more normal and like everyone wants to do that it's just about who's gonna be the one to reach out first and have the confidence to like you know do it but I think honestly just yeah reach out to an old pal that you know is also single and just take it from there, go out for some girly drinks and get yourselves really glam and like looking cute. Someone said, what is next for our Rach? Our Rach. Oh, you sound like Hannah's mom when you say that, our Rach. Um, well, depending on when this video goes up, I'm not really sure when it is. Probably like the beginning of the week, the end of this week. Okay, Friday the 29th. All right, put a tenner to the side because something is coming. And if you've been watching me for a while, and if you've been following me on social media recently, you already know what it is. Um, I've been teasing it for the longest time. And I honestly have never been more excited for like a project and a product because we have worked so like, like hard on it. I, like, I sent it back and like we went back and forth like so many times, which is why it's taken so long. Plus COVID delays, et cetera, et cetera because I wanted this to be it, like the, the thing, okay? I'm so proud of it. I feel like you guys are gonna love it for like so many different reasons, but yeah, I can't wait. So mark your calendars, is literally this Friday when you're watching this. Um, someone said, how is Hot Girl Summer going? It's going, like living, loving, thriving. It, it, it is a Hot Girl Summer. This is like the first summer I've really felt like it's a hot girl summer, you know? I don't know really, I don't know what's like happening. Maybe it is like the older you get, the more you just like let loose a little bit, you know? And just like go all out, I don't know. 
I don't know. Maybe it's like the long, like, I think I've always suited like long hair. So when I got the long hair, it was very like, ooh. My hair's like got that warm tone to it at the moment, which I'm really loving. Um, I actually used recently, it's from a brand called Shrine. It's like these copper drops that you can put into your shampoo to like really just like enhance the warmth. So if my hair looks like a lot warmer, that's what I've used. Uh, literally pretty sure that product like sold out instantly. They were, it was so good. I feel like hair brands underestimate how much people love like auburn hair. Like I literally love auburn hair. So like, yeah, getting like copper drops into my shampoo has given me the warmth and the warm color that like I really, really like wanted. Um, I feel like I'm like nailing like my tanning at the moment and just, yeah, I don't know. Everything's just like coming together, which has resulted in this year being like hot girl summer. Maybe it's because this is the first year with like no like real like COVID restrictions as well. So we really can go out and like thrive. One thing you want to do before the end of 2022, few things really i say it and things just always get in the way but so i'm not gonna say in my specific podcast but like because there might be other i want to get the podcast thing up and going again because it is all ready to go i just need to do it there might be something else instead but we will see so basically something like chassis i want to like get up and going by the end of 2022 I want to have, um, which I think we will, um, like a meeting and get the ball rolling on like another project that might involve like me, Hannah and Mads together, which I don't think any of you guys would expect coming. Um, yeah. And I don't know. What else by the end of 22? 2022 pay my tax bill so that's just like done and dusted with uh, i don't know this like i just i love having goals don't get me wrong but then it's like when i when they don't necessarily come to fruition then i'm a bit like oh so like i don't really like to say things i i'm i'm loving going with the flow maybe that's why i've got this different energy because i never used to just go with the flow and at the moment i'm just going with the flow what will be will be and we shall see. Ooh, someone said, what's like your go-to first date outfit? I'd probably say either like a cute dress, but like something quite modest, but like fun and flirty at the same time, you know? Um, or maybe like jeans and a nice top, but like the top be a little bit like flirty. I like a... <laughs> oh, I like a like halter neck type vibe. I think that's really cute. Or like a skirt and a top, that kind of thing. It honestly depends on what the date is whoa that was potentially quite risky can oh, steve come on this is what we're talking about um yeah i think it depends on what the date is obviously if the date's like i don't know mini golf you probably oh, could wear a dress if you want be a bit flirty and fun with it but i feel like you probably feel more comfortable in like some cargoes and a cute top or like something like that so i think it just depends on what the first date is but yeah you want to you you want to keep it comfortable, but still fun and flirty. So you can't go wrong with jeans and a nice top. Just make sure the top is like cute. You know, you want to like enhance your best asset. So if you, your best asset is your ass, get yourself a pair of, you know, like PLT shape jeans or like the ones from ASOS, like the hourglass ones that like really make your ass look good. So many of you asking about like what the newest launch is guys. If, you, if you've been really like keeping up with me, you will know what it is. And you, but you won't have to wait much longer because it is coming on Friday. I'm gonna say this one more time, all right? Someone said best places to go in Manchester. We are coming in September. Right, listen up. I'm gonna give you this five or 10 seconds to get your notes app up on your phone and write this down. Because I always say it and everyone's like, sorry, what was that? And I'm like, what? I already said it. I don't need to repeat myself again. Pretty sure I posted it like on Twitter. Why did I say it like that? Twitter. Uh, Twitter. Do I actually have it on my phone? Here we go. Right. Manchester. 20 stories. Okay. It's a really nice rooftop bar. There is a restaurant as well. Don't necessarily rate the food there. It's a bit like bougie and not like as in in the restaurant. They've got bar food, which is nice, like truffle chips, etc., etc. Uh, but the one thing is about 20 stories is you can't book it. So 
you can book the restaurant, but you can't book the outside terrace, which is kind of why people go, it's first come, first serve. So if you're going on like a Saturday, get there early to ensure that you do actually have a place to sit. People come and go though, so like hopefully you won't be waiting too long, but sometimes there's a queue out the door. So it is just like a little bit hit and miss. Uh, next door to that is like the Ivy, the Ivy Asia. Love the Ivy Asia. So nice. And they're like what, on top of each other. So it's like not like two separate restaurants. The Ivy Brasserie's at the bottom. Ivy Asia's at the top. So you can't go wrong there. Uh, obviously there's like menagerie and stuff, which is the classic like, uh, the food is amazing in there. It's like pink, like it's very Instagrammable in there. Really nice for like night with the girls and stuff. Duke's 92. Uh, it's like Riverside, kind of like pub vibes, but it's like pub bar vibes. Why are you looking at me like that? Am I talking very loud? Um, and then there's like Albert Schloss, which again, you, they do a really great breakfast there, but also at nighttime, it's it's lively. It's just a really big like bar. Along there, there are a few, like along there, there's like a Rebs, there's like Dirty Martini on the corner, like that kind of vibe. But yeah, Albert Schloss is obviously like a Manchester thing so there's that you don't want to cut off oh, jesus kick the phone out my hand then anyways there's a place called like hatch which is cute it's like an out it's outside it's like loads of different like food and drink places that you can like order to the table and like it's like street food street drinks sometimes they have like uh, like performers and stuff like all like bands and stuff sing there it's really nice it's definitely more of like a day thing though uh, so the weather's nice that's really nice Roxy Ballroom is really fun. A great place also for like a first date. It's basically, you can go like bowling, pool, crazy pool. Uh, there's like places you can shoot hoops. It's like, you can uh, do like Prosecco Pong or Beer Pong. It's like a games place. Um, again, I think there's like another one. There's another games place nearby, but that one's more like active and like, yeah, I, I love bowling. And that's really fun. You can order food and drinks and stuff in there as well. Uh, really fun in there. Firefly is good. More of like a, a vibe at night time. Think they do a bottomless brunch there. Food is amazing. It's like Asian sushi, that kind of thing. Yours, yours is good if you want like club vibes. Um, you can also get food there. It's pan Asian food. And yeah, they have like a DJ at night time. They, when they stop serving food, it really does become more of like a club, but without like going to the club. Like if you want to go China White and stuff like that that's more of like your club vibes, okay? They're my recommendations. I hope you took notes, because <laughs> I'm not saying it again. Someone said, would you ever bring out your own makeup line? Are you bringing more products out with Revolution? There's no products uh, to, there's no plans to bring out any more products with Revolution. We had like a two, two collab deal type thing. Yeah, and I actually don't know if you can get them anymore. I think once they were gone, they were gone. And obviously Revolution bring out new stuff all of the time, so they can't, continuously keep like every collection because otherwise their warehouse would probably they'd have like 700 warehouses to like in order to store like all of the products um but my own makeup line is something that like i just have never really thought that's what i want to do i love collabing with brands and using their you know knowledge about the makeup world which i only have as much knowledge as like you guys really like i am kind of trained in makeup i used to work at mac and we did a certain amount of training at mac but that's obviously only like for MAC products, um, so, but I don't really know things about like ingredients or like formulas or like anything like that. Like that, and that's nothing that I'm, not that I'm not interested in it, but I just don't have the foggiest idea about. So I love working with brands and like kind of using my brain in terms of like the creativity and like the design and what I know like people like and what I like. Cause not only am I a creator, I am a consumer of products, content. I still love shopping for makeup and stuff and like, I feel like that's why I've got quite a good eye for, for things like this in the sense of I know what people want because I am one of those people. Um, so yeah, when it, I love like working with someone to create a product. So no, not my own makeup line, but hopefully more collaborations in the future. If you guys, especially if the one on Friday does like just as well. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys are going to love it. Someone said to me, I feel like you need humbling about your feet. Gappy long toes aren't pain. What? Gappy long toes? Are you having a fuck? I haven't got gappy long toes. I don't need humbling about my feet. I've always been told I have nice feet. I know I have nice feet. And the man's that had them in his mouth not long ago said the same thing. 
I rest my case. Someone said, do you have the fear of being irrelevant and how do you cope with it? Um, I'm sure that day will come, like at some point. It's not necessarily a fear because I feel like I'll be at a stage in life where I probably will want to be doing something else anyway. And that's kind of like what these years of my life kind of are probably going to be leading up to, like just creating new avenues and new forms of revenue in terms of just like work and what I want to do and stuff. Um, but when it with social media, I think you just ride the wave until no more. And whenever that is, is whenever that is. And like, you know, I, I don't think it's anything to be like afraid of. I think your path is your path and what will be will be. You just gotta go, guys, go with the flow. Hit, look at me like preaching about going with the flow, you know? But um, I will remain here as long as you guys will have me here and enjoy what I'm doing, creating and all of that good stuff. And it's good for like the old people to fizzle out, you know, and the new people to come in. That's just the way life works. And there's nothing you can do about it. A lot of people asking you, me if I'm dating anyone at the moment. The answer is no. But I feel like I have, uh, I don't know, it's like, you know when you have like certain like people in your life so therefore like i don't really want to be like going out and like dating because that's not where like my focus is you know i enjoy talking to the people that i talk to i don't know yeah so no like i'm not like actively dating but like i've told myself like rachel i think i think you actually need to like go out and be like dating because you can't keep like holding on to these people forever if it's like there's a bit of like distance obviously between us so I don't get to see them all the time. So it's like, okay, so in the meantime, should we be doing something else? Um, but yeah, I'm just one of those people though, like if I like someone and I'm talking to them, I really like can't talk to anyone else. Otherwise I just feel bad because I know deep down that it's going nowhere with you. I'm just doing this because I'm bored type thing, you know? So no, I'm not like dating like one specific person um so yeah that's the update on that oh my god suddenly i had like a loads of people say like can you do a new get ready with me for your go-to glam you're loving my makeup at the moment coming next week don't you worry oh my god so many things about the podcast okay guys i can see that you want it ah, this is how i feel about it i need to just get a grip and find some time but yes that's like literally i love i loved my podcast like talking to people and that's like one of the things that i just love, love, love to do. So I need to just find the time to sit down and actually do it. Because it's ready to go, I keep saying it. Uh, ugh. Anyway, let's do one more because my camera's just said that it's looking very, very warm. I'm gonna end on this one because I feel like I get this all the time and a lot of you guys are asking it, like so many of you sort of basically saying the same question like again and again, but it's just how to feel confident. And I'm guessing you guys are asking me that because of this new energy I'm supposedly like, exerting and i think it all just starts on working on yourself first so for me it was like kickstarting my fitness and health like journey because that's what it was something that i just really wanted to do for me and just to like generally feel better i did have sort of like goals in mind with like holidays and stuff but really it was just the lifestyle that i wanted to like get into and like do it in a way that i could maintain it and it become like actually my lifestyle without feeling like the pressure from it and i am just really like enjoying it so just finding like exercise that you love and like food recipes that you love that therefore it does just become like habit and like you know your lifestyle and obviously with that will just come natural changes and i think you'll just feel you'll start to like look different not that you need to look different to feel confident but if, if, if you're sort of saying it like me almost and like Am I like making sense? I'm not saying that to look different is how to feel confident, but for me, that was the root of why I wasn't feeling confident, if that makes sense. So if yours is like the same as me, obviously naturally you'll start to see like little changes and stuff. And I think along with those changes will come sort of maybe like a different mindset. And like the first time you put a pair of jeans on and they're slightly too big, it'll just be like a, a moment of like, oh my God, you know, this path that I'm on, like, and the journey that I was working on is actually coming to fruition and like things are changing and stuff. And I think, yeah, I don't know. Again, it's also with the people that you surround yourself with. Um, if you're with a certain group, for example, maybe subcon... I, I don't know, it's so hard to sort of like say these things, but it's just the reality of it. If you're with a group of people that like 
look a certain way and you just feel like maybe when you're with them, it just kind of makes you feel a bit... It, there is absolutely no harm in this like day and day and age. Like obviously still be friends with them because they've not done anything wrong, but just finding friends that like look a little bit more like you and just like, you know, I, I don't know. This is just all, I think you just need to think like, what is it that's not making you feel confident? What is it? Because more likely than not, nine times out of 10, you can do something about it and you can change it. And the sooner you change it or just like, you know, balance things slightly differently, etc., etc., the happier and just naturally more confident energy you will exert and you will be like, trust me. Yeah, I, 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 it's hard for me to give advice if I don't know like specifics, but I hope that sort of collectively was good advice. Anyway, the coffee's gone. I low-key need the toilet now. <laughs> But I really hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A, sit down. I say like it's like a hangover, hangover Q&A because I am technically hungover and a bit tired, but it was more just meant to be like chill vibes. Let's just sit, look a bit gross. All right, have a coffee and just chat and chill. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out Case Defy in the link down below if you want the discount to automatically be applied. Now the browse. Have a search for a new phone case if you are in need or just treat yourself or like I said, great gift. Also, mark your calendars for Friday the 29th. I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Na, 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 na. Yeah, I love you guys. Oh my God, my stomach's bubbling. I've got to go, got to go. Bye guys. Wait, Steve. Steve, you've got to say goodbye. Say goodbye. Bye. Oh. He's gonna give you a wink instead! Ba, 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 ba.